it's all on video. There's a reason it's called the war on crime. For the next 60 minutes, we'll put you on the front line. You'll see the scariest pursuits, wildest shootouts, and most outrageous outlaws from around the world. Much of this footage has never been seen before. We've gathered these stories from police. What do we need to take him out here now? News agencies. Oh, no. Even citizens on patrol to show you the stark reality that criminals have declared you the enemy. And knowing your opponent is the only way this war will be won. Sheriff John Bunnell, you might think it's crazy to put your life on the line for a job, but that's exactly what the men and women of law enforcement do every day. Low-life hoodlums don't hesitate to put cops in the crosshairs, so when officers head out on patrol, they better be ready for a fight. Alicante, Spain. Inside this bank is a robber armed with a pistol and two hand grenades. He's an addict who was itching for drug money. But he botched his getaway. Now he's taken the customers hostage. The crook communicates with the negotiator by phone. And over an agonizing 12 hours, he agrees to release most of the civilians. But he keeps the last two for a special plan. Late at night, the junkie finally steps outside and trades them for a means to escape gassed up motorcycle. With that much speed and maneuverability, he could slip past authorities and disappear into the night. But cops have a slightly different plan. An unmarked police car speeds in front of him. And the rebel's wild flight gets hijacked. The bike blows into pieces and the perp flips end over end onto the asphalt. Officers swarm the battered man. They quickly confiscate the gun and grenades before he has a chance to use them. The jonesing suspect is hauled off to the hospital. Looks like he'll finally get his wish and score some meds. The offender eventually heals up to face a string of sobering charges. This lowlife thought he could threaten innocent people and then rock it away. But his escape was just a launching pad to jail. Macon, Georgia. In the hands of a determined criminal, a heavy-duty pickup could be nearly unstoppable. And as police are about to learn, the man in this stolen truck has just as much willpower as horsepower. The car thief rolls into a parking lot of a massive shopping center. As cruisers move in to cut off the suspect, a cop stationed at the mall puts him under the gun. In seconds, half a dozen firearms are trained on his vehicle. But he's not stopping for anything. Officers try to shoot out the tires. Unfazed, the culprit shrugs off the gunfire. Next, he plays chicken with the law. My God, this guy's gonna kill somebody. Forcing a motorcycle cop to bail off his bike. Then the lead patrolman decides to go on the offensive. He targets the pickup's tailgate and tears this guy a new one. Even after a second pit, Get out of the, car! the madman keeps control of his ride. Police follow the outlaw into a parking structure, where he's forced to double back. 
It gives the lead officer a chance to close the gap and deliver another massive hit. But it's still not enough. The truck spins a full 270 degrees. Yet somehow, the battered rig is again on the move. But when the thief aims his grill directly at an officer, Coming up on the, top. the cop responds the only way he can and unloads. Incredibly, it's the same motorcycle cop he nearly crushed before. And the cornered lawman is forced to open fire. Authorities converge on the suspect. They pull the wounded man from the truck. Unbelievably, he's still fighting. The crook has suffered four gunshot wounds. He's lucky to be alive. If that's not enough to convince him to straighten up his act, maybe 15 years in the state pen will. This stubborn offender used a beefed up ride for a jaw-dropping rampage. But he found out that a mean truck and a bad attitude are no match for stalwart police. Sao Paulo, Brazil. Most nights, manning a hotel desk is dull work. But this clerk is about to have a check-in he'll never forget. He lets a stranger in thinking he's a guest. Instead, he's a one-man cleaning crew. The robber demands access to the cash drawer and helps himself to the easy payday. But when the crook heads for the door, he gets a rude wake-up call by a cop who saw the suspicious culprit enter. Blocked by the armed lawman, the perp takes a hostage. The employee knows he has to give the officer a clear shot. It's do or die. Clerk struggles, and the cop lets the lead fly. Injured, the intruder fires a surprise shot right through the counter, but the patrolman has him dead to rights. Incredibly, the worker makes it out unscathed. The attacker isn't so fortunate. His wounds are fatal. The violent thief thought knocking over a hotel would be simpler than punching up room service. But thanks to one alert cop, his scheme was shot to pieces. Coming up on World's Wildest Police Video, a late night ticket makes a driver fighting mad. Some Texas inmates ride roughshod over prison guards. And a boozed up runner gets knocked into the gutter. America has more than 2.2 million criminals behind bars. But locking someone up isn't the end of this story because most of these dirt bags never stop causing trouble. Huntsville, Texas. For these two inmates, a late night phone call is a special privilege. But tonight, it's also a sneaky opportunity. As a guard steps out to tell them time's up, the criminals launch a daring jailbreak. One crook, a burglar, outmuscles a female officer. But his buddy, in for murder, has a tougher opponent. The male guard refuses to give ground. From the adjacent office, 
two other jailers charge in. But the night crew may need more help. The ruffians force their way into the next room and head for the lobby. A tough female guard fights to keep the felons inside. But the thief helps free his pal, allowing the killer to bolt for the exit. Now he's left alone. Outnumbered three to one. He should realize he's beat. But the only way to get through his thick skull is to put a chokehold on him. Police soon catch the other inmate and level charges of escape and assault on a public servant. When these convicts were granted a little latitude, they repaid the guards with brutality. Their days of special privileges are now long gone. And all that's left is a much longer stint of hard time. Springfield, Michigan. Officer Jeff Johnson stops a car for a speeding violation. For tonight's patrol, the cop has a ride-along passenger, a civilian who's watching Johnson from the safety of the cruiser. But what the citizen observer doesn't know is that he's about to experience the ride-along of a lifetime. In just seconds, this petty violator turns into a dangerous opponent. And just like that, it's on. The speeder fights against the cuffs, a sign he's going to attack. So Johnson tries to take him down. But even a slam up against the sedan doesn't knock any sense into this guy. The struggling suspect forces his way into the driver's seat. A dangerous predicament for the cop. Amazingly, the unarmed ride-along boldly rushes into help. But there's only room for two in the tight quarters of the car. Then the man does something really outrageous. the patrolman still grappling, the driver punches the gas. The daring civilian tries to assist and nearly gets taken along on the harrowing peel-out. Now instead of riding shotgun, the observer becomes the primary in a high-speed pursuit. He quickly catches up to the speed demon, who's got his hands full with the irate officer. fast, the citizen spots an opening and uses the cruiser to block the renegade in. It pays off. The perp bails on foot and the honorary deputy is right on his heels. Officer Johnson and his new sidekick make short work of the fugitive. One in custody, 2158. The fact that a civilian busted him doesn't seem real. And even cuffed in the back of the squad car, the loser still doesn't get it. If this dope had more brains, he could have avoided some serious felony charges. Fortunately for the city of Springfield, there's no shortage of guts in their police department or their citizen lawmen. Fort Wentworth, Georgia. An officer responds to a chase in progress. A man in a stolen pickup who already has multiple units on his tail. Like most fugitives, 
His flight is giving him a severe case of tunnel vision. What's worse, that vision is also blurry from booze. Now the short-sighted drunk is endangering innocent lives in his wild attempt to escape. When the lead cruiser tries to edge past, the lush swerves to cut him off. As reckless as he is wasted, the offender fights any attempt to block him in. There's only one way cops are stopping this guy. A pit maneuver. Pickup flying out of control. Backup watches as the truck spins into a death roll through the dirt. Only some skillful moves by the officer keep his own car from flipping as well. Not knowing the man's condition, lawmen cautiously move in. He's banged up, but the criminal has survived the crash. He'll be heading to the hospital with a police escort. This drunken outlaw rolled the dice with a high-speed getaway. He's just lucky that the roll didn't end in a graveyard. Just ahead. Are you naked? On World's Wildest Police Video. When a car thief makes tracks, he just took off. It's the road. <laughs> to ruin. A vicious bank robber gets a penalty for early withdrawal. And an irate motorist <laughs> backs up his angry words. Spalding County, Georgia. Speed 76 on a 45. Sergeant Jason Taylor pulls over a speeder on a rural highway. We're stopping right here at Wani Road. When the woman rolls to a standstill, blocking an exit lane, Taylor gets his first inkling she might be drunk. Can I see your license? I left it at the house. How much have you had a drink tonight? I haven't been drunk. The skeptical cop's not sold. What, what's the smell of alcohol? Her car smells like a brewery. But the real trouble starts... Are you clear to copy? Yes, good. When the woman overhears what dispatch says about her license plates... That vehicle's gonna be 1099. That's code for stolen. Turn the car off. And the lady knows it. She just took off. She floors it, nearly running over Taylor's foot. And she tears away. She just took off. <laughs> Even in a high-powered interceptor, the sergeant struggles to catch up to the bandit. Blasting down the highway, we're right at about 100. the treacherous dame is a disaster waiting to happen. And it gets worse. We're coming up into the city of Grizzly. She's rocketing toward a busy town. Ready up. I get the opportunity. I'm going to take her out. At these speeds, a pit maneuver could launch her into a deadly barrel roll. It's a scenario Taylor hopes to avoid. Yes, yeah, if she gets any closer to the city without slowing down, I'm not going to have a choice. At the city limits... And the lady, slow down, please. His hand is forced. They got to pick her up. With a squad car stopping oncoming traffic, a bump sends the lead foot flying out of control. She skids all the way around the other unit. And amazingly, she spins back across the highway. But her ride jams to a stop against a tractor trailer. Taylor pins her car against the semi. With backup covering, the sergeant breaks out her window. But the stubborn lady doesn't budge. Get out of the car! Get out of the car! 
So Taylor gives her 50,000 volts of electric encouragement. Finally, the woman's out of the driver's seat and in cuffs. Best of all, no one was hurt. This reckless drunk racked up a litany of charges. But thanks to a cop who's cool under pressure, her high-speed escape came to a screeching halt. With today's surveillance systems and the cell phone revolution, the police response to crime has never been faster. But in the heat of the moment, some civilians choose an even faster response. West Dallas, Wisconsin. It's a quiet afternoon at the Guardian Credit Union. But when this man comes in wearing a hood and a mask, he immediately gets everyone's attention. He gives each teller a note, explaining that he has a gun and demanding the cash. He controls the room, knowing they won't resist and that the lone woman customer won't interfere. But he doesn't notice the man munching popcorn in the waiting area. It's the husband of the female patron. And when he sees his wife in danger, he maneuvers past the velvet ropes and crashes the party. The snacker can't find a path, so he blazes one and makes a meal out of this meathead. Finally, he gets a little customer service from a teller. And his little lady adds a dose of street justice. When the manager comes in, he offers his neckwear to tie up loose ends. Crooks expect people to behave a certain way during a robbery. The smart way. What this guy didn't expect was a man more concerned for his wife's safety than for being smart. You can call the judge that when you go to court. Buffalo Grove, Illinois. Everything is being recorded. Officer Robert Pekaski has his hands full with an irate driver. Turn the conversation over. After giving him a speeding ticket. You can complain to the chief of police, that's not a problem. The calm patrolman gives textbook answers to the man's predictable objections. You simply were driving too fast. I'd like you to close the door and go ahead and proceed on your way. Okay, okay have a better day. Be careful pulling out. But the next few seconds are neither textbook nor predictable. The disgruntled driver decides that this cop can kiss his tailpipe. The rear wheel of the car smashes through the window within six inches of Pekaski's face. But what happens next is even more amazing. Despite the officer's orders, the man repeatedly hits the accelerator instead of the brake. By the time he stops, McCaskey is wondering if this is an accident or something else. The man was clearly angry about getting a ticket. You can complain to the chief of police, that's not a problem. And even more peeved at getting some advice. Be careful pulling out. But with no proof his act was intentional, all police can do is add a reckless driving charge to his record for this hot-tempered clash with the law. Still to come on World's Wildest Police Videos. A stoner who's running on fumes. What is this guy doing? Sparks a sizzling foot chase. Oh, and now the guy's running. Good. And a bad guy with a grievance and a grenade lets only one of them drop. Plus, a fleeing thief oh my God. turns this sexy import oh. into a smoldering three-wheeler. Next.
Pursuit policy. These not only differ from one department to another, but also from one chase to another. Officers factor in the seriousness of the offense and the risk to the public before ultimately deciding the safest way to make the bust. Los Angeles, California. We're southbound on the 5 freeway now, coming through Sun Valley. This unbelievable three-hour chase started because the driver was going a little fast and then refused to pull over. He's been lit up through six freeways, seven separate communities, and five police jurisdictions. Look at this, the CHP has taken over the pursuit right now. Once the CHP identifies him and sees he's no immediate threat, they back off for safety purposes and let the chopper track him, knowing they can pick him up later. But the hell he's not. TV van's right behind him now. News crews are following the story. And now, they're the only ones on his tail. I see the news truck, but I don't see police. At one point, the driver even stops for gas. Oh, I don't believe this. Then he calmly continues with the so-called chase. This is crazy. What is this guy doing? When the laid-back speedster finally pulls over, the scene looks more like a movie premiere than a forthcoming arrest. And what is the well-dressed fleeing motorist wearing this year? Your basic casual robe and pajamas. As the local PD is called in, our man and on the lamb even stops to have a little toke. But when he spots the fuzz, this dude can beat feet with the best of them. Here come some units now. Oh, and now the guy's running, racing away from the officers here. Whatever he's smoking isn't affecting his sprint speed. He's he's on foot. After all, this kid has been out running cops for the past three hours. But at last, the raggedy roadrunner is slowing down. And pajamas or no pajamas, the police are not taking any chances. And finally... Oh, they're using the taser. They just zapped him. Down he goes. And the great chase is finally over. The TV vultures gather round. In today's media, no one can avoid the walk of shame. Before depositing the guy in the police car, a curious officer asks the obvious question. Daniel, are you on anything right now? Just, just marijuana. No, no. No, I haven't. I haven't smoked any today. But. Who wouldn't believe that? The officers turn him over to the paramedics, who take him for one last ride of the day. Oh, I don't believe this. With police diligently enforcing the law, and reporters doggedly searching for the scoop, they made sure this retro renegade wouldn't get away because you never know who's going to turn out to be bad news. Down he goes. Have smoked any today, but... Bogota, Colombia. An unstable man wearing a wig and fake mustache has police on edge. His name is Martin Geraldo, and he's holding an M26 hand grenade with the pin already pulled. Mr. Geraldo stands on a pedestrian bridge over one of the busiest streets in the city. He is asking for two things, a cell phone to call his wife and 20 million pesos. Should Martin release the handle, that grenade has a 10 second fuse and they're right across from a school in several banks. Traffic is held up for three hours as two officers patiently stay with Martin. They calm him, telling him the money is being delivered while the bomb squad prepares for the worst. Suddenly, Geraldo stops talking. As techs get in position, the uniform officers decide it's time to grab this man and his weapon. But they only secure one. When 
cops rush Martin, he drops the grenade. Officer Jorge Munoz grabs the bouncing M26 and tosses it off the bridge. The blast blows apart neighboring storefronts. But fortunately, this type of explosive has a limited 50-foot range of destruction, and only two people are injured, none seriously. Martin is dragged down the steps on his way to jail. Instead of talking to his wife, he's now left her to pick up the pieces of their shattered lives. He thought stealing money would secure his future, and he was packing enough bang for the bucks. But these officers made sure this situation didn't blow up in their face. Just ahead, on world's wildest police videos, a woman tops the maximum speed while wearing the bare minimum. Walk back towards me. And a Russian burglar fights the law. The law of gravity. When someone runs from the law, it's quite obvious they have something to hide. But sometimes what pops out of that vehicle at the end of a pursuit can take even the most seasoned officer by surprise. Bainbridge, Ohio. A suspected DUI tries eluding authorities at over 120 miles an hour. When it becomes clear there's no escape, the vehicle finally pulls over. Police order the driver out. Driver, let me see your hands! Let me see your hands right now! But hands are not all they get to see. It's a drunken woman wearing nothing but a transparent top and a thong. Walk back towards me. Do it now. Apparently, she wasn't just worried about being tipsy, but about showing them as well. <laughs> Cops don't know why this party girl is sporting such a revealing outfit. But when she took her show on the road, she exposed her foolishness Walk back towards me. to the world. Do it now. Another day, in Ogden, Utah, an officer falls in behind a car that was just swiped from a church parking lot. Whoever the thief is, getting away will be tricky at only seven miles an hour. The suspect turns into a driveway and reveals something shocking. This perp was driving his age. The seven-year-old boy skipped Sunday school to go for a joyride, missing that whole lesson on thou shalt not steal. But an even bigger surprise awaits cops in Phoenix, Arizona. He's speeding down 27. Units try to corral a passenger van that refused to stop for erratic driving. The outlaw dodges the cruisers, but not other traffic. He hit another car, rolls his van, they're off the road now. He flies into an intersection and slams a crossing motorist, missing another car by millimeters. The van lands on its side. And suddenly, this horror show turns into a circus. A person bails out, then another, and a third. Incredibly, 10 individuals even Merge, dashing down the road. The driver who was hit is furious, but doesn't know whom to pursue. And it's still not over. 11 more people jump out. The 21 fugitives are illegal immigrants that just crossed the border. They swarm through the neighborhood, crossing a park, running along streets, and hopping over fences. But eventually, they all hit dead ends. Officers round them up, and now they'll get to pile into another passenger van, a paddy wagon. The moment a pursuit starts, walk back towards me. Do it now. Cops know that every outcome is in play. He's gonna arrest me. Because just when they think they've seen it all, it. along comes an ending. 
that multiplies the craziness. Belarusk, Russia. A man hangs out a window after he was caught burglarizing an apartment. Cornered, he took the only exit he could find. Now, while police plot a strategy, a reporter tries to talk him into surrendering. It's not going to happen. The guy casually finishes a smoke while dangling 85 feet above the pavement. Inside the building, lawmen pry open the door. It's a diversion for their real approach. From above, a rescue specialist repels from the roof to snag him. Except this crook is done just hanging around. Using flimsy TV cables, he swings away from the officer's grasp. Even a civilian tries to grab the dope on a rope. But once again, he wiggles away. Finally, cops inside latch onto his leg. He fights like a man out of his mind. And out of his clothes. But his pants aren't the only thing going down. The suspect tears loose and plunges a brutal five stories to a concrete slab below. Police and paramedics converge on him, fearing the worst. Incredibly, he's still alive. A narrow ledge broke his fall before impact. Just enough to spare his life. His jail cell will now have to wait until he's finished at the hospital. In the end, no one could reason with his derelict. And no one could catch him either. But police hope that this dim-witted escape has crushed his criminal ways. Coming up on World's Wildest Police Video, a stolen hot rod gets way too hot to handle. Next. Gold Coast, Australia. A news helicopter searches for a fugitive in a stolen car. And not just any stolen car. A bright yellow Porsche. The crook isn't exactly discreet. But he has the horsepower to keep his wild flight rolling. The cocky car thief jets through intersections. Skimming within inches of innocent drivers. He's clearly testing the hot rod's limit and finds it. The speed demon loses control on a turn and slams to a halt. But somehow, this marvel of German engineering continues on. Although part of the car is obliterated, the lead foot ignores the grinding steel. There's a lot of smoke pouring out him now. He presses pedal to the metal as flames belch oh, from the damaged exhaust system. The total Porsche has become a rolling catastrophe. The loose tire skids across the asphalt, bashing a minivan. And if that's not bad enough, pedestrian is next in the line of fire. The bystander nearly gets a turbocharged shellacky. Okay. The wild man presses on, riding on a shredded axle, until finally... Oh, he's lost it on the corner. Of... The souped-up heap spins into the grass. It should be the end of this hell ride. The brash escape artist has other plans. He sprints into a suburban neighborhood and disappears under the trees. 
Seconds later, locals flagged down a cruiser with a shocking report. The relentless perp just swiped their truck. I stole it. Unbelievably, he continues his marathon of mayhem. But a two-ton pickup doesn't corner like a Porsche. As cruisers close in, the bandit floors it. He's now riding on rims. And when he tries a U-turn, officers bravely rush the cab. Patrolmen mob the fiend and drag him from the truck. Yeah, they've got him stopped. They've apprehended him. The menacing outlaw is finally in custody. What started with a stolen sports car and a reckless attitude kicked into high gear as a dangerous spree. And just when it seemed Mr. Hot Wheels would never run out of gas, cops made their move and put the brakes on his getaway. Some bad guys use intimidation. Some try cunning. And some resort to utter ridiculousness. Walk back towards me. But even when you don't know what they're thinking, the danger they pose is real. And that's why cops will keep fighting against criminals of every kind. To knock them down a few pegs show them the harsh reality that crime doesn't pay. <laughs>